Hi folks, welcome back. Um, I finished up the hat, rounded off the the um, the mustache, you know, and I was looking at where the sideburns need to go here. So we're going to take this a little bit at an angle here. Now let's just kind of cut that out. Um, and his hairline behind his ear. So let's just do that first. And go up underneath his ear right there and just kind of bring that out All right we're just going to round that off a little bit just like so and then right here uh, the ear really has to go in so let's determine where that the bottom part of the ear is right there so let's do put a line there just like so and we're gonna kinda make it let me just kinda outline it a little bit alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go down inside the ear a little bit just on that line that you see alright and then we're gonna take it and we're just kinda see if I can find Makes it a little nicer you can use a scoop on it. Uh, a little gouge w would look nice. If I have a little round, rounder gouge, let me spray this a little bit. And we're going to undercut it a little bit more, but let's just do this for now. Let's see if we can just take that out. I think I had the right side here. Yep. And get back here all right and then we're going to just kind of scoop that out a little bit you don't want to try to pry anything out you know kind of let the tools do the work because you don't want to chip anything out I know it's tempting to do it that way but it's not the right way to do it okay These tools are wonderful. I'm telling you, if, if you need these, let me explain to you where you can find them. Um, I get them from Hillcrest Carving. That's a guy in Lancaster that um, sell, has a wood carving shop. Some of you have asked about it, and I just want to let you know that they are available um, from him. I don't sell them, but... Um, you know, Don will be more than happy to help you out and getting what you need there for these. I can know I need to sharpen some of these up again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to fuss with that a little bit more, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. See how it's starting to stick out? And then we're going to go back here a little bit and cut behind it a little bit more. Just to undercut it. Just like so. So it sticks out just a tad more. Alright, see how it's sticking out nice? Perfect. We're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a line. I think that had it up and over. Yep, up and over. I see it. And we're. I'll show you where the line is here. It's from here to here. Alright. take our knife we're going to just go about an eighth of an inch from the top and run it up you can turn it around and go the other way so you don't go all the way to the top and then we're going to spray it and we're going to take the larger one and just try to scoop that out a little bit so that's a little easier I don't know why that is but it's Sometimes that way, you know, one side of the wood's going to be a little easier than the other. It depends if you're going against the grain like I'm doing. It's very hard to get in there. But I'm going to show you. Um, let me do it back here for a minute so where I can see it. Okay. 
so I'm going to work on that a little bit on my own uh, where I can see it a little bit better sometimes I can't always see what I'm doing here uh, in front of this camera because it's pretty well right in my face so um, all right but you get the idea and then we're going to go back and we're going to undercut it a little further we're going to put the um, where the hairline comes out from underneath that ear just like so and go up here and cut that out You have to be very careful you don't put a lot of pressure on those ears, okay, when you're doing it. All right, so this is all going to be here. We're going to put a couple of side burns. We're going to finish up his eyes and stuff. And um, let's see what we have here. Now, I'll work on that a little bit later. But right here, kind of his side burns come down here a little bit. So let's do that. Put some side burns on him. This has a little more room than the other side, but same idea. Alright, so what that entails is just taking your knife, doing the bottom cut and cutting up, and then doing a side cut. Kind of a continuance of the eye, but it's not look that way but it's not supposed to be all right we'll do the same thing over here let me finish this side first and I'm going to come up behind the ear a little bit and clean that up and of course this is going to be separated so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little line right here okay and that will be the separation from his eyelid, eyebrow to that, okay? And that's how we're going to leave it. And I'll do the other side the same way. So what you want to do is you want to cut all the way around. Put your little square in here. Okay, I know this is kind of hard to see. And I'm going to clean this all up and I'll show you what this looks like when we're done, when we come back. Alright, we'll be back. Bye-bye.